This is a HeadGum Original. Wednesday, July 13th. I don't yeah. know if we've ever recorded on a Wednesday, Casey. Uh, I've never done this on a Wednesday, no. Uh, Casey Donahue on the podcast officially, not just behind Mike. People can see your beautiful mug and, oh. my God, the wood paneling behind you. <laughs> I brought it up off air, but I just saw it again, basically, for what felt like the first time. Uh Choice charming vintage details in an apartment, no less. <laughs> it's only one wall. Every other wall is, you know, standard white rental apartment walls. But, you know, how can you beat it this? Looks like you're one in a wall. Backdrop. Yeah. yeah. It looks like you're in Big Bear. It looks like you're in Lake Arrowhead. That's the the vibe I'm going for on Zoom yeah. specifically. He's shooting Glendale for Tahoe. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Marika, let's talk about your back. Uh, you messaged us on Slack saying that the pain. That your back was whack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm currently bedridden. Uh, Sitting in a, up. In a way that's, <laughs> in a way that's like, I'm still in pain, but mm-hmm. maybe this is like the least painful. I don't know what happened. I think. I, um, yesterday, yesterday I was like relatively fine, was dealing with some pain, woke up this morning, got out of bed, and then immediately my entire leg, to comb across leg, your head. <laughs> my legs started cramping, uh, like just everything on one side of my body hurt and I had to go to physical therapy and the only oh. position that was not painful for me for some reason was if I stood on my good leg and I bent over so that my other leg was in the air, so I was like a T. <laughs> that was the only position that didn't hurt. So I was like biking to physical therapy. Oh, and then like any time. Why didn't you just I, cancel it? <laughs> because I was like, maybe he can help me. <laughs> Take the car. I was, like, at the, <laughs> but I couldn't sit. So I was like biking and then like every block would have to like mimic that position while on my bike and like lean over the handlebars. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and I finally got there. We couldn't figure out any other position that was comfortable for me. Uh and then like finally after he like he, like we tried cupping and like all kinds of stuff, I was like laying down relatively not in pain. So I just laid there for 30 minutes with heat packs on. <laughs> 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 and then I got up and then I was okay. I was like, I was able to walk, but I was so scared that if I stopped walking, it would hurt again that I just kept walking. So I walked truly steps. half the way. I walked so far. <laughs> and then I was like, maybe I'll try biking. And I biked a little bit. It was fine. And then I got like three blocks from home. And I was like, I got to walk again. And then walking hurt. And then that position that was good also hurt. <laughs> Oh, it betrayed you. <laughs> yeah, it absolutely betrayed me. So uh, I got home, was like relatively fine. And now it's kind of like if I move a certain way, I might spasm. Uh, but for right now, I'm okay. <laughs> I got my doctor so on the phone. Tell me, I want to know yeah. about the spasm. Is that yeah. a, is that, That's like being seized with pain where you can't really move because you're afraid yeah. if you move, it'll hurt more. That It's like every muscle from my lower back uh to my knee is cramped mm-hmm. uh yeah. that's what <laughs> that's the pain that i'm experiencing and then oh, yeah. my foot is has felt asleep for 3 hours the best part of a decade <laughs> <laughs> because God i'm that and was at easy. one point when i was walking my leg did feel on fire um and was it? I, no, it was fine. <laughs> it was hot out. Um, I got my doctor on the phone finally after like frantically calling, being like, I'm in so much pain. Can I just talk to her on the phone? 
and now I have a lot of medication to take. Yeah. How I'm how I'm going to fly to LA <laughs> next week is anybody's guess. Will I be there? <laughs> Who can say? <laughs> Will I leave my bed tomorrow? <laughs> that was like the button says to be continued. I thought that was a different sound, but I was like, oh, what if this is the promise of more? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, that's why I'm uh, blurred v- background. I have follow up questions based yeah, yeah. around um, treatment methods. Have mm-hmm. you taken to the baths? Have mm-hmm. you soaked? <laughs> I have not soaked, but that also reminds me that I saw a TikTok that was like, um, the bathhouse in Williamsburg is the worst place I've ever been. <laughs> it made me think and of you and Micah. <laughs> it's one of the it's one of her favorite places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're probably the guys that make it bad. But... <laughs> like it's like the equivalent of going to the YMCA. <laughs> no, it's it's well, it's like the YMCA, except if it were a club. It's like mm-hmm. it's kind of like the W Hotel, but all baths. It's, yeah. I think it's I've great. Not I think you should go the there. Baths, though. Okay. I think it, when you're feeling like you can walk or ride, let me know and I'll take you to the bathhouse because we've got the cold plunge, we've got the hot tub, we have the neutral pool, we have the sauna. Excuse me, what's so funny, Jeff? The neutral we have the pool. Sauna. What is that? <laughs> Just a like neutral... a cup of water? <laughs> it's a tepid bath for when you've had too much heat, but you don't want to get in the cold, but you don't want to leave because you paid $200 to be there. <laughs> right, for the day. That's day use. For the day. Okay. So, yeah, they have it's the sauna. They also have the tropical sauna. I'm still talking. And they have what the What makes it tropical? Room. There's a little bit of steam in that sauna. There's a little bit of pineapple <laughs> I on steam the side. Was, I, thought, a, I thought sauna The steam room is all steam. And the saunas sauna, are dry heat. Gotcha, gotcha. Saunas gotcha. are dry heat, but not the tropical sauna. That's a little bit of a moist heat. Then the steam yeah. room is a steamy heat. Then you have the... <laughs> steam <laughs> You try to cut me off. You also have the, steam ahead into the, the hot marble <laughs> stones. The hot, the hot marble stones, I was going to say. By the way, that's what like tobinyaki is grilled on. <laughs> You're talking about like a <laughs> Japanese barbecue house. Warm, warm marble stones, I should say. <laughs> but it's hard to say warm marble. I yeah, want to go to a salt marbles. room. What's Have you that? ever been to a salt? Have you ever been to a salt room? What's like that? A... No. I've never <laughs> heard of a salt room. Yeah, it's like a room made i don't want to say made out of but like covered in pink himalayan salt and i think it's yes. like heated and it's supposed to be like pretty healing yeah. um i've been to one of those but it was a store in santa barbara so it was like a salt room yeah. but everything was for sale and you could just right. kind of buy the rocks mm-hmm. but I, cool. I really think you should take to the baths i think that would um <laughs> You'd like to assault my room? <laughs> mm. Why? Okay, it's blurry. Yeah, how's that? I worth want it t- at eleven hundred a month or whatever you're paying. <laughs> I'm not paying that. Uh, it's really small and messy, so that's mm. why it's blurred. Okay, but you can kind of see my um shelf of binders that full of hold... women. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they hold a bunch of playbills. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> Marika! Um, at this point, I'm so, mm-hmm. I'm really sorry to say what I'm about to say. I feel like the back is a sunk cost, and you can afford to still go out tonight and get your back thrown out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does that so my back is make my sense? back? No. Well, I want to I want to break it down a little bit because you're saying. My back is bad. Arguably, mm. my back is thrown out currently, but you're Correct. saying that mm. I can still leave my house and get it thrown out more, or that getting it thrown out again is would be the same as now. The back's already bad, so you can mm. go find, like, a honey. You could go find, like, a lover right. you in a You can't make it worse. Yeah. As long yeah. as someone I can't picks really you up and you're in well. your T position. I'm, yeah. I'm limping and my foot's asleep. Right, but you also have the an excuse to not be a generous lover in terms of pain. And so, like, you don't have to be good in bed. You can just be in bed with a bad back. Or I can, be a, I, can, I can be in bed with a bad back 
without doing anything because that's how I'm currently yeah. how I currently am. <laughs> Legs <laughs> spread into a T <laughs> as if you're doing a tease. <laughs> I think they'll love these <laughs> ideas. <laughs> Jake, um, are you in chronic pain still? Um, th- thank you for bringing it up. I love to talk about pain. I love to talk about other people's pain. But more than that, I love to talk about my pain. So let's get into it. Yeah. Please. I recently developed something that I believe is called decurvain's There's syndrome. no way. Yes. Is that, is that is a like, self-diagnosis? It's a self-diagnosis, but my dad helped me with it because he had it also. And there's apparently just like a really simple test you can do. So like I have just joint pain right here in my wrist. It's very acute. Um, And everything feels fine. I can do push-ups. I can like lift weights. I'm not really like in pain. But when I do this motion, like almost like shaking a hand, it's severe pain all along the side of the wrist. And apparently the way you test for it is you like cross your thumb over, you do this, and you just turn. You might feel a tiny little pinch. You feel that tiny little pinch? Yeah. Yeah. For me, that is excruciating pain. <laughs> so, and it's really weird because like I can basically avoid doing that emotion all the time except for like a few little things that you just like do all of a sudden where you like, you know, you don't really Shooting realize pain. that. I was what? Yeah. I've been. I was on vacation for two and a half weeks. I didn't wash any dishes, and then we got home, and I picked up a, like a dish in the sink to wash it, and it was just like shooting paint on my entire <gasps> hand. I was like, Jillian, I can't help with the dishes. <laughs> Darling. This is what I'm saying. Use your chronic pain to get out of others' ways. That's right. That's right. Casey, um, so pain. Yeah, that's my pain. Uh, I was in a lot of pain up until recently. I, I broke my hip skateboarding, right. and I was using a cane for a while. Ollie frontside nose grind goofy footed. Ollie you... Baba uh, frontside regular, regular nose regular. <laughs> slide. Shove Pop it. shove it. Yeah, yeah, back to tray flip. Back to his hip being broken at Cedars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kick flip. That's exactly what happened. No kickflip. I can't. I can do all that, but the kickflip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was walking around. I was walking around on a broken hip, yeah. unaware that Oof. it was broken. Mm-hmm. And then I went to the doctor. I was like, I fell skateboarding. <laughs> I think it's a real bad bruise. And then he took an X-ray and was like, This is a broken hip. <laughs> yeah, you need to stop walking immediately. <laughs> And then he well, took an X-ray and said, up? "You don't skateboard, and your hip is fine." <laughs> <laughs> I really needed that doctor's note uh, saying that I broke it skateboarding, and uh, he helped out. So, no, but uh, broke in a it cool was, way. yeah, yeah. And I, I still, I walk weird now. I got like a little bit of a swing in my hip. A skip but... in your step. You're just a happy <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Your I hips think... sway hither than thither, left and exactly. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now I think I look way cooler. And when yeah, anyone asks, why songs. do you walk like that? I say I broke my hip skateboarding. <laughs> Pretty cool. It yeah. is cool. Yeah. Um, when you were using the cane, did you ever kind of like lift it above your head? Um, I would point with, to stuff with it a lot. Okay, so you were raising canes. Yeah, there we go. Yes. <laughs> he was coming. Um, Any pain, Jeff? No dry pain. Dry eyes. Yeah, just dry eyes. Aesthetically red uh, slash unpleasing to thine eyes. Uh, mine mm-hmm. have been drier than, let's say, Bakersfield thighs. In that when you're chafed in the Central Valley of California, that's as dry as it gets. And that my yeah. eyes are twice as nice. Uh, they are getting better, though. LASIK helps a lot. Shout out to Dr. Arthur Benjamin. Nice. Such a basic name. No one will be able to find that doctor. <laughs> <laughs> he 
what he lacks in like a creative name, he makes up for in giving me Xanax about 30 minutes too late so that I'm fully awake for the surgery. <laughs> they did uh, that for me too. They're like, here, here you go. Here's a Xanax so you can relax before the eye surgery and now come into this room. I'm like, well, this isn't going to hit yeah. until my wife is <laughs> picking so me up wild. in an Literally. hour. My friend AJ picked me up after the surgery. Jake, uh, no, Zay, well, you guys, Marika and Jake, no, AJ. Uh, and it hit as I was getting home, basically, on the way home. And I just kept, like, swaying back and forth and being like, I don't like this drug, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think it's solid. It felt like the world was ending to me. It felt like I was dying. I wonder if it was Xanax. That seems like a... that. <laughs> is not how you're, how you're supposed to feel on it at all. They did say that we don't we ran out of Xanax, but we can get you some in the next 15 minutes. And so it was probably cut with fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> and you're recommending this doctor? <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah, they bought it off the street. Uh oh anyway, I'd be remiss if we didn't get to um our Bond of the week. Uh, this week, my bond of the week is mortgage-backed securities. Say more. One of the most interesting types of bonds. Um, I'll have a dry MBS. Monthly payments, not semi-annual coupons. I'm surprised they haven't chosen a new bond at this point, just so this segment can end. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are they waiting for? They sh- they have to. They simply have to announce it, right? Yeah. Wasn't they said there it's going to be a while. Re- yeah, that was like a recent thing. But they said they're it's going to reimagine the franchise. So great! Excited Can't to get a wait. Call. My bond of the week is Fernando Alonso. Oh, nice. How come? The finger wag at Sonoda? <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely that one. Uh no, I think he I think he just fucks some shit up. Get, probably That's get cool. it sneaking around. I'd actually pitch Alonso for the villain cuz yeah. they are usually a little more brooding and have um a different accent. They're always and Spanish. George Russell. <laughs> Yeah, George Russell would be Bond because the Kingsman been, yeah. cosplay. I see. I see George Russell him. as a as a villain. I agree. I hate yeah. George Russell. Yeah, <laughs> I see him as a. I, I see him George as a Formula Russell. One villain. I, but I think as I do see him as Bond. He's classically British. He went to the rescue for Zoo. I mean, what? Did you not, you were... Jeff? Is in a Formula One chat with us and never responds to anything we say. It's I've missed the last like three or four races because I just yeah. haven't been able to wake up for them or I've been traveling. So I just feel like I'd, I'd, I'd to miss him. I would miss him too if I were a McLaren fan. Uh, by the way, I was on my honeymoon and I watched both the yeah. races. Okay. <laughs> he really did. Your honeymoon. He was responsive. He sent us photos of Ferrari merch. I, there and were, he didn't I have to do that. Of, Here's my thing. There was so much for I might admit that it was defeat awesome. in that you guys were correct. I hate rooting for McLaren. Daniel Ricardo's <laughs> bad at driving, <laughs> and he's about to switch to TV anyways. <laughs> you have to pick a new team. Ferrari. All right. <laughs> Welcome. I like Haas. Well, I always liked Ferrari, but it wasn't my team. Yeah. Right. Haas, Haas, Haas. Yeah, Haas is good. I like Haas. 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 Me too. Yeah, Casey. So Casey's recently gotten into Formula One after we told him about Drive to Survive. Yeah, yeah. what do you think? Casey, is it, what's your team? Oh, man. Um, I think I really like Haas. Uh, they're the most fun. I like mid. I like the middle of the grid. That's yeah. where the action is. Yeah. Um, a lot more overtaking. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Five um, cars going through a turn. Yeah. That's 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 where you learn who can drive and who can survive. <laughs> uh, but I guess at the front, <laughs> at the front of the grid, I, I like I like Ferrari. I, I can't root for Red Bull. I don't either, something either. something about the Red Bull vibe. The whole like, organization. It yeah. comes from the top. It's I think it's Christian Horner. He's such a little dickling. He'd be a good Bond villain. Man, the perfect Bond yeah. villain. Yeah, he would be a good Bond villain. 
Yeah. God, he's good. Um, he's very hateable. Guys, our next partner has a product I use literally every day. All right, I'm talking Athletic Greens. I started taking Athletic Greens because I have poor sleep habits and hygiene. And honestly, I don't eat enough vegetables. So I thought I could knock two birds with one stone, and I absolutely did with Athletic Greens. So what is this stuff? Well, with one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging, all the things. I take it in the morning. I have a glass of water, my Athletic Greens, and then a coffee. Boom, I'm off to the races, and it uh, just gives me the energy I need to start the day. It's lifestyle-friendly, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free, and it contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. It supports better sleep quality and recovery, mental clarity and alertness, and it's the one thing with the best things. Athletic Greens uses the best of the best products based on the latest science with constant product iterations and third-party testing, and it costs you less than $3 a day and you're investing in your health, and it's cheaper than cold brew. It's cheaper also than getting all the different supplements yourself. I used to take a bunch of vitamins and pills, and now I just take Athletic Greens, and uh, I get everything I need. You're investing in basically an all-in-one nutritional insurance. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into cold and flu season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. I've been taking it on the road. I've been traveling a lot, taking my Athletic Greens. Other than that, other. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash what's that. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash what's that to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Thanks, Athletic Greens. Okay, we have to move on uh, to talk about some news of the day. Um, these... <laughs> what is this episode? What's that? <laughs> I have segments. We just I, I wanted you to did. let him breathe. Yeah. So we're doing pain to bond of the week to news of the day. <laughs> uh, headline reads: Eminem's daughter Haley Mathers may be starting a clothing and beauty line. Ma- matters not Mathers first of all <laughs> what um, what did he what say publication- <laughs> what publication is this from that is going to be I believe from the Guardian <laughs> <laughs> no it's from page six <laughs> and she they yeah. have run out of things to report on she may be starting a clothing line but she also may not be as first reported that- by the sun not the news. <laughs> Don't get angry at us. <laughs> Haley has filed a trademark application to sell clothing and non-medicated skincare preparations in conjunction with her new entertainment brand, Haley Jade LLC. I frankly would like to see a crossover between the beauty line and this entertainment branch. Like, what if there was a <laughs> euphoria under eye cream? I can't believe you stopped an interesting conversation for this. <laughs> Something that we were all interested in, even you, is Formula One. Yeah, I love it. I feel like we have to contain Formula One to five minutes per episode because people do complain. Who complains? <laughs> the people who don't They complain watch because we're not talking enough about Haley Mathers. I know nothing about Haley Mathers. I... People I... want me and Jake to start a Formula One podcast. Which I want to be a did. part of it. <laughs> Sean Actually, Mendes. Danny Rick might be a part of it, too, if he's not driving next year. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. lives in L.A. in the offseason, in uh, yeah. Beverly Hills, actually. I have the address. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Mendez needed to slow down a mid-tour, says Source. Being in the public eye has put pressure on him. Um, listen. I, I get that. Yeah. I can yeah, actually I spe- I can speak to this. How so? Because... Um, you know, we, <laughs> he went through a pretty public breakup with uh Cam- Camila Cabello, and a lot of people online bullied him for being in that relationship to begin with. So I feel like you know, slowing down would be good for him. For sure, I think he's got a great voice. I like the way he sings and sounds when he does it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's all i don't really care about the his way he sings and he sounds <laughs> you're a columbia records a and r 
I want him to be happy. Okay, well, let's start with the music before you see if the artist himself will be happy if we sign him. <laughs> um, well, evidently, that's actually important because now he's going to cancel fucking shows, right? That's money out of their pocket. You need a happy artist because that's how you get paid. All right, that Stranger Things Demogorgon fight looks pretty different without CGI. Is this news? Is this a news item? This is that's for <laughs> like, or is this just like a thought you yeah. had? <laughs> <This is> like, <laughs> you're you're reading clickbait, and we can't see the image, so it's extra not interesting. The Mindy ha- Project suggests taking heartache days. Should we? Yeah, sure. Well, you have How is, active. That's the same as. Mental health day, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just calling it something different. Well, yeah, but this was in like 2009. Wait, is this news of the day from 2009? Up, <laughs> <laughs> Jordan yeah. Peterson's daughter proves his popularity increased Hello? after his suspension. Jordan By Peterson. By the way, now we're not even talking about anything. You're, <laughs> you're saying the headlines at us until we barely understand them. And as soon as we do, you're on to the next one. I don't know who Jordan Peterson is. He's like an alt-right guy who got kicked oh off Twitter God. or something. Um, Fine, let's talk more about Formula One. What's the next race? <laughs> <laughs> and this will be my first Grand Prix as a Ferrari. Um, Tifosi. Tifosi, yeah. There you go. Next race is <laughs> French. France. Yeah. yeah. Um, I am going to the Formula E Grand Prix this weekend, if I can. With the bad back? Yeah. Uh, I, listen, I got to see Antonio Giovinazzi be bad at racing <laughs> in Formula wow. E. I didn't know he uh, moved over there. He did, and he's not right. great. Um, mm-hmm. But I went last year, and it was really it was fun. So I'm excited to go now that it's like an actual event. Last year was like a scrap together, last minute, like please come, we need people in seats thing. So yeah. Um, we do have to move on. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Laurel or Yandy. <laughs> we had to move on. <laughs> we ha- we simply have to get to Laurel or Yandy. Do you guys know Yandy? No. It's this like affordable lingerie store online. Cool. So I'm right. going to play some sounds and you're going to tell me if you hear Laurel or... <laughs> An item from Yandy.com. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Laurel. I heard Laurel. I heard Laurel. Yeah. I also heard Laurel. Okay. Interesting. I wasn't paying attention to the rules. I kind of forgot. It's not a game. game? It's just like an experiment of like, what do we hear? Uh, Here we go. Daddy's little disaster costume. Daddy's little disaster costume. <laughs> what you gonna say? Ask? Yeah, I think I that heard... was an item from Yandy.com. <laughs> mm-hmm. I heard Laurel. Hmm. <laughs> you might be in the minority there. <laughs> okay, now I understand the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Laurel. I heard Laurel that time. I heard Is Laurel. Is that an item from Yandy.com? Yeah, I heard crotchless camisole. <laughs> I bet they do sell laurels crotchless at Yandy.com. camisole? Is that what you said? <laughs> Obviously, it's crotchless, right? It's a top. <laughs> a crotchless top. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like a t-shirt where you could see your whole fucking nutsack? <laughs> I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. I kid you, Netbot is talking. <laughs> I 
think I think that I was think I heard Laurel. <laughs> Um, I think I heard I kid you net body stocking. Casey, what did you hear? Oh, I get it. Uh, I heard Laurel. I also heard Laurel. Sweet whisper crotchless bodysuit. <laughs> that See, was no, Laurel. That makes sense. Okay. I, I heard definitely... crotchless bodysuit. <laughs> yeah, I heard yes. Slade whisper crotchless bodysuit. Uh, oh, I heard, yeah, sweet whisper is what I heard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wait, let me listen to it again. Sweet whisper crotchless bodysuit. Yeah, sweet whisper yeah, crotchless. That time body. I heard Laurel. Yeah, it's weird like every other time. <laughs> it's like whichever different. one you listen for is what you hear. <laughs> yeah. Because I was listening for yeah. Jake's thing and then I heard it. Mm. Laurel. Laurel. That one, Laurel. That was yeah. Laurel. Yeah, Laurel. That was Laurel. Cheese, please, pizza pasties. I don't okay. think that was Laurel or an item from Yandy. I think that I think Jeff made that one up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was your caviar order. <laughs> pizza pasties. They're cheese, cheese please, please, please. Pizza pasties. Pizza pasties. So they're like little pe- pepperonis on your nipples. Yeah, but I heard Laurel. <laughs> if it's pepperoni, then it's not pizza pasties. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. Pasties. It has to be a full pizza. That's it. We're moving on. We have to move on. We have to move on. <laughs> All right. Um, I really don't want to do this one, mm-hmm. but I needed to come up with another segment, and I thought that this would be fun for people to watch me sweat. I've been playing online chess recently, and... um. I thought that I could play against one of you. You guys can elect who's going to play. I will send you a chess.com link. And let me look at what I wrote down. For every pawn you capture, I will text somebody that I hooked up with that I'm on good terms with. For every rook, knight, bishop, I will text someone that I dated that I'm on good terms with. For, if you take my queen, I will text someone that I dated that I haven't spoken to in seven years. And if you take my king, I will text my longest term ex that does not like me at all. Um, this is called chess for te- chess for texting your ex. That's interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys know I got stung by a jellyfish when I was on vacation. No. That's horrible. Yeah. How bad was it? Was it was pretty scary. It hurt a lot, and it was very scary. It was. It, it was a little. Um, yeah, it was a it was a shock. It was a surprise. Yeah. Had you and ever I been stung by like one before? I had, but not like that. I'd been stung where I like got out of the water and I like felt like something was stinging. I was like, oh, I must have swam through a jellyfish. This was like, I was swimming and I heard the and it was just like intense pain. And then I like spun around. I screamed to Jill that there was a jellyfish, and I swam for sure. It was. It was shameful. All right, we we've go. got the right. the game is up. Who is going I'm first? I'm black. Casey's white. Okay. Casey's going first. Yeah. So Jeff's name on the chessboard is Goss Branham, and <laughs> Casey's is Theodore Fernando. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Uh... Fuck. Um, okay. <laughs> Casey's opening move. Uh Pawn to C4. Jeff's pawn to E5. This is really bad. <laughs> Ooh, here comes the horsey. Excuse me, slow down. There is Jeff's um, bishop, Horse I believe, to, to what, B4. Um, Jeff, I would not have done that. That is <laughs> you just said you've never played chess. <laughs> Casey, I believe that's check. There's no way. No, that, yeah, that's... No, that's no way. It's not check at all. <laughs> Very nice. Here comes that horsey. Nay, nay, Jeff. The knight is out to F6. Ooh, Casey counters with the pawn. Horsey moves again on Jeff's board, E4. Very Where'd good. Where'd the pawn go? It's gone. 
One of Casey's was captured, but no one needs I to see, be texted. Gotcha. Jesus Christ. Why did you do this? <laughs> I don't want to talk to any of them. Oh, Jeff retreats on the night back to F6. That is a coward's move. You are frightened. You are shook. Casey, it's time to mount the attack. Very nice. Pawn forward, A3. <laughs> now let's see if Jeff falls for the trap. I don't think he's dumb enough to fall for the trap that Casey has laid out, but let's see what his move is. Well, don't tell him about the trap. Yes, excuse me. We'll see what Jeff decides to make of the board. And he's falling for the trap. That is Jeff's You don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is truly only for the video watchers. I can't talk and do this because I don't. This is awful. There's only he like didn't, two. You're scared. Yeah, he didn't fall in the trap, but he's trying to set a trap for me. Oh. You guys have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> nice move, Casey. Thank you. Knight to C6. I'm running out of time, C6. though. Oh, yeah. This game is going to end in a minute, wow. isn't it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you guys only have three minutes total. For I thought the, that was per turn. Yeah, it's per turn. Oh, okay, it's a dangerous game. Chess can sometimes last for hours. Yeah. Yeah. What if, <laughs> what if this turns into a real stalemate? I would love that. <laughs> the stakes are so high. Usually, like sacrificing a pawn is good. Wow. All right. The first pawn is pawn. down. Pawn has been captured. Um, this isn't bad, actually. This is texting somebody I've hooked up with that I'm on good terms with. Okay, I'm texting right. somebody who's a close friend, actually. Um, what should I say? Okay, so let's pretend we'll text them something like it's um, uh, almost like you're texting a doctor about the location of a rash. <laughs> okay. So you say, no, just above the thigh but on the outside, um, raised redness, <laughs> but the itching has stopped. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank Send. you. Great. Nice. Delivered. All right. Does it say delivered? Did it you did. Con confirm? It okay. did. Good. 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 We're already at minute 40. There's no way <laughs> this is going to work. You have you have 22 seconds left on, what? on your game. I didn't know it was my turn. <laughs> <laughs> that was the trap. Wow. And Jeff moves the pawn to H5. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Another a bishop that you captured has bishop. been captured. All right, that's you have to text an X, right? I have to. T okay, person f first person just responded saying, "What are you all right?" <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I respond, and I just seeded my time. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> I guess let's just continue with this conversation then. We only have like three minutes, anyways. What do you want me to respond? Casey Marie, what I do think, you guys think? Uh, you well, should you... say, sorry, that was for Goss Branham. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was, it was the idea that you were texting a doctor and mm, it's and yeah. you messed it up. Yeah. I'd say continue to engage as if you were still talking to the doctor. Okay. Oh, so that's good. <laughs> so she said, what are yeah. you all right? That's what she said? Yes. What? You all right? Yeah, you say, yes, the itching has gone down, but I feel like the redness is getting a little bit deep. But the redness is getting more of a, a crimson or something like that. Uh, yes, the itching has gone down, but the redness is becoming more crimson. Perfect. Wait, can yeah. I can I edit slightly? I already sent yes. it. Okay. <laughs> what would it, what, tell me what the edit would have been. 
I was just going to suggest um, saying that it's starting to spread lower like a crimson river. <laughs> Should I act like that's happening in real time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, shit, it's spreading downwards in a crimson river of boils. <laughs> you escalated too fast. <laughs> yeah, the boils are going to give it away. Now she's going to know you're ma- doing a bit. <laughs> Okay, I, well, I fucked you this whole t- thing up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, now you have to text. Now you have to text the ex because he, Casey did also before this game was over capture yeah, that bishop. Yeah. I did capture that bishop, but it's All an right, ex bishop. you're still on good terms. Good with, terms right? with, which I have two yeah. of. Okay, um, great. I'm gonna one or two. 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 Okay. What do I say? We're on good terms, right? <laughs> <laughs> Savage. I cannot say that. <laughs> so you're not on good terms. Well, no, I don't know. <laughs> not with two. Not with that text. Also, oh, can I do anything else? Sure. Yeah. I'm not going to make you do it. No, I'll do something equally bad. I just can't do that. <laughs> What if it could you do? We had fun, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, this is not even going to be good for the show because she's not going to respond fast because she has an Android. What, okay, fine. What if you just text a picture a picture of your face and say, "Should I cut my hair?" But it's really close and it's just your eye. I, my phone's dead. I have to do on photo. <laughs> oh your fucking segment. It was your idea to play chess and to text your exes, I didn't think text girls you hooked up with. We captured one pawn, and then your and you texted one person. Then your phone died. You wouldn't text. <laughs> I think I don't think it should be your eye. I think it should just only be your hair, like the end of your hair. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Just the split end. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let me just hang on. <laughs> oh God! How do and maybe like this? hold it up, like you're. Hang on. I have to delete. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Play. Hold, hold the wow, end nobody... of the hair a little bit. We have to play these other videos of so you. So it looks like you're showing it to camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay, now my computer's freezing. <laughs> of course. You guys talk about Formula One or some shit. I gotta figure this shit out. <laughs> Casey, uh, are you playing Formula the 2022 game? Uh, I'm playing 2021 because uh, it was cheaper because 2022 yeah. just came out. Uh, and then I just got that the racing wheel with and, yeah, and I some saw that pedals. On and man, oh man, I'm <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I'm thinking of becoming a, a an esports uh, Formula One champion. <laughs> You can't can't break your hip doing that. Well, all. you've got to get yeah. <laughs> okay, you got to get a different wheel. Awful photo. Yeah, should well, I cut knows. my hair? Love it. Uh, we're not gonna get a response, but I'll update next week. Um, we we gotta wrap this shit up, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> um, we made it to another week. You know, this show's still fucking going. Ads out the wazoo. Um, we didn't take an ad break. <laughs> Do we have ads at Jeffrey wazoo? James on Instagram? <laughs> at Jeff Boyardi on Twitter. I am 400 followers away from 10,000. And that's huge. If let's say if I get to 10,000 followers by the end of July, I will post an Instagram story of my actual ass. <laughs> <laughs> you you, do you that should anyway. remake. <laughs> you should remake. <laughs> First, yes, I feel like you should also recreate the the Bottas photo, the one oh, where he's like good. in the stream. Yeah, 
uh, okay, if we get to 10,000 followers by the end of the July, I'll recreate the Bottas photo somehow. I don't know where I'm going to do that. <laughs> it wouldn't be hard. We'll find a stream. All right. Yeah. Topanga. Um, yeah. Or the LA River. It's an the option. LA River's perfect. But that's so polluted. <laughs> you guys want me to get fucking a weird river disease? <laughs> Ideally, yeah. <laughs> it would be really funny if you did that, but it was just like the dry concrete part. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Casey, plugs. What do you got going on? What do you want to point the people to? Oh, uh, you know, just follow me on Twitter at Casey Donahue. You know, it's where you can find anything I'm doing. America? Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Marie Galon. I'm pretty close to getting 2,000 followers. Big deal for me. So if anyone wants to follow me out of just like goodwill and know that I won't do anything in return, um, that'd be cool. Well, you'll post content. Yeah, I I post fun things. Yeah, post photos. How about of... if people? If you get to two thousand, you post a picture of Jeff's ass. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I post Actual fun ass. things. <laughs> we'll see. Jake, you're going to JFL. Yeah. Montreal. Oh yeah. Is this coming out before that show? Mm-hmm. This is coming yes, out. It's coming out Friday. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay, go to jakeandamir.com. There's tickets for our show at J- JFL uh, in Montreal. Amazing. And you're hosting the... That's right. Of course. Cre- <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, and we're hosting the New Faces show. I have no idea what day or time that is, but it's sometime that weekend, that week, maybe Thursday, yeah. maybe Friday. One of those two. Thursday, July 28th, 1.30 p.m. And you oh. better believe it's at the Doubletree Grand Salon Opera amazing so, yeah. yeah come through Sounds it's gonna awful. be good nothing nothing new- funnier than a 1 30 p.m show and <laughs> new faces <laughs> of comedy creators amazing um and we'll see you guys again next week until next week that's Dawes, folks <laughs>